Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is day 7 of Inktober and it being a Monday, it is of course a change of theme. So we are transitioning from last week's theme which was horror movies or classic horror movies and into our new theme which is ladies of the comic book world and i'm really excited as you all saw from the thumbnail i started off today with spider gwen and for all of you if you would like to join in on this theme and have some fun with it and also see your art at the end of my videos you can feel free to tag me over on instagram at greatly geeky and also use the hashtag Geeky's theme of the week, just in case I miss your tag. But yeah, I'm really excited. I do have one to share with you guys from last week's theme, and it's super cute, and I can't wait for you all to see it. So stick around for the end so you guys can see that. But overall, I had a lot of fun kind of designing this piece. I had done Spider Gwen a few years back, and I personally as soon as she kind of came out into the new design of comics I was in love with her and it was one of those things where I loved the colors the style the very kind of poppy use of color as well and another thing that I kind of loved about her is that she's supposed to be like a dancer or like have the grace of a dancer so super cute I especially loved her character in um, Into the Spider-Verse. I think that's been one of my favorite cartoon-esque movies to come out as of yet, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. But yeah, so overall kind of wanted to do this kind of cute dainty pose for her and just have a bit of fun, and I chose to do her with the hood off. I really went back and forth with myself because I do love the look with her mask on and her hood up and everything and I love the look that it gives and I did that in the previous piece of Spider Gwen that I had done but I decided to take a bit of a risk in a manner of speaking and kind of just have fun and see how I could create her blonde hair with my yellow ink. I used the Liquitex liquid ink or professional ink in the yellow orange azo color and that's the one that you guys have been seeing when I've used yellow throughout this week so it was it's different but it was fun all I all I did to really get that nice light tone to her hair was I simply watered it down and instead of using a pen to really create the line work for her hair, I used a Pris Prismacolor Coal Erase in the Tuscan Red color and that just kind of allowed me to give a nice flow to the hair without having such a dark um, or heavy line work. The only thing that I kind of realized, and I made it work the more I worked with the piece, is that um, with how soft everything is, I kind of wish that I hadn't gone quite so heavy with the line work around her face. But I made it work and I'm happy with how it turned out. So overall, I think I, it came together in the end. I also didn't want this piece to seem too flat in a manner of speaking or just be the silhouette of her pose, especially because a good bit of her costume is black and white. So I chose to take the teal blue color and the magenta pink color that I used on her outfit as well and kind of use it to create a faded wash of a background. For today's piece, and actually for the last few, I've been using Canson watercolor paper. It's 140 pound paper at 300 grams and I've been using a 9x12 and it seems to take the ink really well with because it is watercolor paper as well without too much um, warping of the paper itself so I was able to lay a good bit of ink and then water to try and continue to push that color real nice and I think that came together really well but overall I think it's a really fun start to this next week's theme and like I said if you guys want to join in and you have a favorite comic book heroine or even a 
you know, comic book guy. We don't have to stick with just ladies. I personally am just more of a fan of the pinup female style. That is just my art style and what I have fun and really enjoy drawing. But if you guys love like Batman or you know, want to draw Spider-Man, Wolverine or whoever, you know, have fun with it and still please tag me because I'd still love to see those pieces. I love seeing everyone's artwork, seeing everyone grow. And I think that's part of my favorite or one of my favorite things about the art community is just watching other artists grow and develop as artists and the support system that can really come to play. I know that sometimes it's not always there, but there are some of us who really love to see your guys' art, even if you don't feel like it's the best piece you've done or you're not sure because you see so many people who are far more advanced than you. I promise you I love seeing it all and that you will get to the place you want to be the more you just put the work in and continue to practice. You guys are amazing and I know that there are uh, quite a few of you on here that I follow on Instagram and I promise you even though I might not see your posts right away I do try and go back and look for them. The stupid thing about the Instagram algorithm how it is now is that it doesn't just show you posts that are there in time or that pop up when you post them. They show you what the posts that essentially Instagram recommends to you. So a lot of times I will try and take the time myself to go through and kind of look through all the people I'm following to make sure that I'm showing the love and you can be notified but even the notifying doesn't always work so I just try and make the time to go and see everyone's posts. But with this week I wanted to ask you guys and with the theme, you know, what are some of your favorite comic book characters? Are you guys fans of comics? And if you think about it, it doesn't have to be the typical mainstream type comics that we all know, like Marvel and DC. I do absolutely love those houses, but there's so much more now, especially with the involvement of web comics and um, graphic novels, mangas, you know, we have so much more variety now as far as, you know, the comic book style of art and reading. And I think it's one of my favorite things. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what some of your favorites are. I know for me, more recently, I've been pretty hooked to webtoons. I started reading some webtoons back in January. And now I've got like a list of like 15 or 20 of them that I'm just hooked to. Um, but I think a big part is the art style for me. The, there's so many beautiful artists over on there. Um, I, I especially love Lore Olympus by Used Band-Aid. And um, House of Stars is another great one that I just recently found. The art style is stunning. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. But anyways, here she is. And I think the background really helps bring her all together. And... Also, here is Annalisa's piece from our theme last week, which was horror movies, and I think this is absolutely adorable. I also tried to include her YouTube on there for you guys, and I just want to say thank you guys for being so amazing, and we're almost 2,000 subs, which is just blowing my mind, but I will see you guys in the next video. As always, take it easy.